If you need a family, you can come hang out with me. I'd rather be an orphan. My name is Armin Nawabi. This is The Secular Jihadist. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Yesterday, I was on YouTube scrolling and I came across the most amazing channel, Smile to Jannah. And I watched the video and I thought, what's going on? Because I knew that this Bengali sister on TikTok who does videos, which I don't really watch myself, but she was having an issue or exposing an individual called Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. Jeffrey, what was his name? Jeffrey Marsh, sorry, yeah, Jeffrey Marsh, yeah, some marshmallow, yeah, I don't know who he is, yeah, so, and there was a back and forth going, and I saw the videos, and I thought, okay, this is interesting, what's going on, I was shocked to my core, that this guy has a patron, not only that, he is calling, hey, kiddies, I mean, anybody that goes to any child and goes, hey, kiddies, is quite disturbing for me, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably vomiting right now, it's so dishonest for people to put videos of Jeffrey talking to kids next to other videos of Jeffrey telling people to come on Patreon where Jeffrey talks to them about more adult related content and suggesting that because these two types of video exist, Jeffrey is telling kids to come on Patreon where Jeffrey can talk to them about sensitive topics. If you actually go look at the videos where Jeffrey is talking to kids, Jeffrey has done the responsible thing in marking them as for kids. When you mark a video as for kids on YouTube, YouTube puts a lot of restrictions on it. Jeffrey's Patreon content is separate. Patreon has age restrictions for people who want to be patrons. But the point I want to make is the following. There was a back and forth between them. However, in the video that I watched on Smart Jenner's channel, she was crying and I'm thinking, why is she crying? So I just got an email saying um, pretty much a threat saying I know they know where I live and what scares me the most is um, they have got my daughter's details on the email like what time I leave to drop them to school please don't come at me don't come to my house don't don't do anything with me because I'm just one person, one person. She went to the level of deleting those videos because her car was attacked. She was being blackmailed. She received an email of somebody actually tracking her, taking her kids to school. What time? Where she drops them off because she's got two kids and they go to two different schools. So they're trying to threaten and blackmail her. I dare you cowards to come and try that with me. It's really a shame that it needs to actually be said that the threats to this woman are disgusting and criminal. I hope she gets a lot of support and the protection that she and her family deserve. It's pathetic that Ellie is using the threats to her as an opportunity to virtue signal as an alpha. I dare you cowards to come and try that with me. There's nothing less alpha than men who are desperate to show you that they're alpha. Okay, now let's unravel all of this. Let's take it a bit step at a time now. As parents, I'm a parent, I have two daughters. I'm sure if you guys are watching, you might have kids or you might not have kids, but imagine, imagining your kids, what they would be going through in this very instance. Now, where do we entrust our kids? There's certain places, family members, schools. In schools, you have teachers. You entrust these teachers and you leave your children with these teachers in the school parameters that they are safe and they're safeguarding in place. And there's regulatory, uh, reg regulatory bodies which are keeping the kids in safe place. A teacher is not allowed to have any kind of communication by themselves outside the school premises with your child and with my child. Now just bear this in mind and just imagine that teacher or whoever, forget a teacher, some weird looking man, some man, some boy or a man, yeah? This man is saying the following to your kids. Let's hear it for ourselves. Then we're going to go to a very, very nice song that I'm going to dedicate to this individual. I believe music is haram, but I am going to show it to you guys because I think every child has to learn these lyrics. We'll come to that in a minute. But let's watch how Jeffrey Marsh is talking to your kids. Hi, kids. Hey, kids. I want to talk to the kid. Audhu billahi minash shaitan rajim If I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw that, I would flick my phone. And what, like, I'll, I'll throw it against the wall. Hey kids, hey kids, what the hell is this? Audhu billah. This is the real reason why Jeffrey Marsh is getting all this attention. Some weird looking man. It's because the way he looks. Now let me be brutally honest here. I myself am not used to how Jeffrey looks. 
I find it unsettling. But you know what? That's a flaw I have. I am a product of my time. I haven't been exposed to certain looks. That's a problem. We can do better. If our kids end up being less judgmental because they see more diverse looks, the world will end up being a much more tolerant place. But I'm sure he doesn't have anything alarming that any child or anyone for that matter, be it a Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, atheist, secular, you name it. Any of these individuals who are parents would have a problem with. I'm sure they don't. What does he? It's about Jeff and I having sex. And are you allowed to talk about that on Patreon? Listen, I'm ready for the asteroid. I've had enough. Um, as far as I know, anyone's got an atom of morality left in them. Doesn't seem like you do. Uh, you should not be talking about that in Patreon. But, 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 if you're from the LGBTQT community, if you identify as trans, and if you identify whatever, you can talk whatever you like. Nobody can say nothing to you. Why can't Jeffrey talk about sex? Other people get to talk about a whole range of topics on Patreon, including adult-themed content, intimate subjects. They can share their personal experiences about these issues. Why can't Jeffrey do the same thing? It's the look, isn't it? As long as Jeffrey adheres to the content guidelines and ensures the proper separation between content for children and adults, then what's the problem? I identify as someone who decides what your pronouns are. How about that? How about I identify as somebody who decides, a regulatory body who gives a certificate to me deciding what your pronouns are? Ali doesn't seem to understand that when someone requests others to use their preferred pronouns, they're not forcing anything. It's just a request. Respecting someone's preferred pronouns is just a basic way to show respect. If you want to be an asshole, you should be free to be one. Using someone's preferred pronouns is a small act that does a lot in making people feel accepted. If you get called out for being such a dick, that doesn't mean you're being forced to do anything. You're just being called out. He's talking about intimacy. Sex with his, I don't know, boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't know anything about this person, yeah? He's talking about intimacy. Now, is that scary? Yes, you can say that is very scary. Ali's scared of intimacy. He's talking about intimacy. Now, is that scary? Yes, you can say that is very scary. Who hurts you, Ali? Why are you like this? This is your mind on Islam. But look what he says now about no contact. I will tell you about going no contact. So you've decided to go no contact with your family? <laughs> what kind of a laugh is that? No, 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 let's be real. What kind of a flipping laugh is that? <laughs> what is this? And... I agree, no contact. You should have no contact with anyone, let alone kids. You should have no contact. I agree, no contact. He's trying to divorce, yes, symbolically, the child from their family, their parents. Guess who he wants? The new kids that he wants to take away from their actual biological family, who cares about them, who's nurtured them, who would die for them. Guess who their new family is going to be? Ali, Jeffrey is not always talking to children. He's trying to divorce yes symbolically the child from their family their parents the new kids that he wants to take away from their actual biological family you do know that adults have parents too right people's relationship with their parents are very complicated sometimes very toxic especially if you're trans going no contact with your parents is not the best solution for most people but it is the right solution for some people do you have any idea how very abusive and toxic some relationship with parents can be? Having blood relationship with somebody doesn't mean that you have to keep extremely toxic people in your life. For some people, cutting off all ties is the right answer. Not for most people, but for some people, that is the answer. And if those people could get some support, that's great. Jeffrey is providing that support here for those people who need it. If you can't relate to those type of people, don't assume that this is not the right answer for them. If you need a family, you can come hang out with me. I'd rather be an orphan. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather, be, I'd rather be an orphan. Yeah, I would. I would. Uh, I'd rather be an orphan than be your family <laughs> all day, every day. Uh, I swear to God. I mean, I, I would prefer anything in this world except having you as my family. <laughs> I don't want to have you as my family. Let me be very straight and honest here. Yeah. I'm laughing because I have no choice. Well, he didn't ask you, Ali. 
I have a suspicion that transphobes are not Jeffrey's target audience. But many people do want Jeffrey as their family. You mocking the support Jeffrey is providing for them does not make Jeffrey's work any less valuable. I don't want to have you as my family. Let me be very straight and honest here. I'm laughing because I have no choice. It's really disgusting, Ellie, how you are so dismissive of people who face difficulties with their own families and might need such support. Make it even more disgusting. You go as far as undermining and belittling the struggles and hardships of orphans. I'd rather be an orphan. <laughs> orphans who would prioritize finding a loving family over Ali's transphobic mindset. But I'm gonna end on this note, brothers and sisters, yeah? Okay, here is the final video that I want to show you guys. And I dedicate this kids song, which has been taught in schools, to everybody. This is for you, Jeffrey Marsh. If you ever come across any stranger or someone like Jeffrey Marsh who speaks to you like this, you say the following. I dedicate this song to Jeffrey Marsh. And anybody from the LGBTQT community, yes, whoever you are, if you think you're going to blackmail us, and when I say us, I am talking about not only the Muslims who are standing, who are the l last people who are standing against your immorality, not only that, not that you want to be gay or trans, you can be whatever you like. The point is that you are now shoving it down our throats. The Muslims, the Jewish community, the Christian community, the Hindu community, the Sikh community, the Hindu community, I think I mentioned atheists, all of them are going to be a obstacle in your way. We are not going to let you come and consume our children best believe that if you're worried about kids then islam should be your main target not the lgbt community it's islam that creates environments where children grow up with intolerant perspectives what you should actually be telling your kids are the wise words of our apostate prophet stay away from islam and the threats that you send into this bengali sister which i'm trying to get in contact with i dare you to come and try that with me or anyone else for that matter we are not scared of you you are not going to blackmail us we have the freedom of speech to talk and speak out against you and you and your community has become not only toxic you guys have become radical individuals you are radical so much so that Mohammed hijab went to ireland to give a talk and you guys who are advocates of freedom of speech decided to stop him maybe directly or indirectly yes because of security issues the event was cancelled we can see your freedom of speech we can see what you are trying to do we see right through you just know till our last breath we will be in your way intellectually challenging your hypocrisy and your double standards that was my freedom of speech if you genuinely believe in freedom of speech you will hit the like button share it with your friends and family and comment and say i support you Ali keeps generalizing the entire LGBTQ community based on the actions of a few individuals. This from the same guy who likes to remind others not to judge all Muslims based on the actions of a few of them. Very selective, very hypocritical. That's all I'm going to say for now. Stranger danger, stranger danger. Get back, Jeffrey Marsh. You're not my dad. Fire, fire, call 911. That's what you do kids, inshallah. And may Allah protect our children. And this sister who is going through this, yeah, who has made, you've made her cry, yeah? She's our sister in Islam, yeah? Okay. And if needed, we will have brothers in front of her house. And I will volunteer firstly. I will volunteer, and if I'm joking, I will volunteer to be in front of her house and keeping, making sure that none of these cowards come and dare to blackmail her. The peaceful LGBTQT community, yeah. Yes, the true face of the LGB community, brothers and sisters, the LGBTQT community. Okay, they attack her faith, they attack her weight, so much so they are sending, sharing pictures of her in non, non, no hijab. This is how low they become. They would say, you know, we've got no problem with Muslims. Until you speak out against them, then you will be thrown under the bus. Oh, the great strong protector Ali. I will volunteer firstly. I will volunteer, and I think I'm joking, I will volunteer to be in front of her house and keeping, making sure that none of these cowards come and dare to blackmail her. The peaceful LGBTQT community. 
Ali, will you be using your strong masculine energy to also protect people within the LGBTQ community? People who face their own share of hate and threats and need protection from violence. Compassion seems to be limited by religious boundaries. How very tribal. We fear the LGBTQ community more than the far right. The far right want to take our, take our body. The far left want to take our soul. They want to corrupt our children. And we're not going to allow that. Oh, this is so revealing. This is the core of what is so dangerous with Islam, with religion. A focus on the afterlife instead of this world, which rots your mind. So much so that you even betray your own children in protecting them against real threats. To prioritize their souls over their bodies. Their real bodies versus their imaginary souls. We fear the LGBTQT community more than the far right. The far right want to take our, take our body. The far left want to take our soul. Prioritizing souls in afterlife instead of their bodies and this life leads to dangerous and misplaced priorities. Instead of focusing on making the world that we live in a better place for our children and for everyone else, they sacrifice this world to build a better dream world for their tribe. To protect the soul instead of the physical well-being of children is a threat to children. Instead of fostering a safe and accepting world, we end up turning our children against each other as enemies in this world, along religious lines, taking away peace, safety, and acceptance so that maybe they have peace in an imaginary world. They want to corrupt our children, and we're not going to allow that. This is exactly why channels like ours focus on defending Muslims where it actually matters. We stand against those who imprison, torture, discriminate against, and kill Muslims not those who mock Islam or draw cartoons of Muhammad. This is why as an atheist channel, we have spent a bigger portion of our time defending Muslim rights and freedoms, not defending their beliefs. And this is why in the name of fighting Islamophobia, Muslim channels put Muslims in danger by using the attacks and threats to Muslims as a tool to promote Islam instead of defending Muslims. That's it, brothers and sisters. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please send this to Jeffrey. Uh, Marsh, whatever his name is, yes, and let's see if he has any comebacks or anything to say. Till then, please report his Patreon. Report his Patreon for inde indecency and safeguarding and court prevent as well. My name is Armin Navabi. This has been the Secular Jihadists. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.